Okay, the next two examples I'm going to do on one video, they involve both a vertical and a horizontal line. And graphing the horizontal and vertical lines again is recognition. And the problems again will say graph. Graph x equals 7. Graph y equals negative 5. Okay, if it has an inequality symbol greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, it's probably going to be a number line problem. It'll even say graph the following on a number line. But if it just says graph and there's an equation, it's going to be a line. Okay? Notice these equations. This has x but no y. This has y but no x. We just figured out on the first section that if there's both an x and a y, we get slanted lines. So what we're seeing on this section here is if there's only x or only y, we get a vertical or horizontal line. And these are the most commonly missed easy problems in math. I don't know why people miss them. I can come up with some theories as to why people miss them, but I just, they, they, people miss them all the time. So Pete, don't be that person. Don't be the person that misses this problem, because these are real easy. If x equals a number, you get a vertical line. Here's what messes people up on there. Which way is the x-axis going? Vertical. Horizontally. Mm -hmm. x equals creates a vertical line. y goes vertically, and y equals makes a horizontal line. Let's investigate why. Okay, x equals negative 2. All right? This point right here is negative 2 comma 0, right? What's this point right here? All right, not, dang, that's, you guys are agreeing too easily. This point right here is negative 2, 0. Let's try to put it in the right spot. What's this point? Negative 2, 2. Negative 2, 2. And what's this point? Negative uh, 2. And this point right here? Negative 2, negative 3. Negative 2, negative 3, right? What's the x coordinate of all those points? Negative 2, right? x equals negative 2 is the fact we have to make true. There's no rules on y. y is allowed to be whatever it wants to be. So x, you have to be negative 2x, but y you can be whatever you want to be. So y gets to move up and down and free you at, at will here. So if we're going to graph x equals a number, we get this vertical line that crosses right at x equals negative 2. That's all you have to do to graph a, a vertical line. If x equals number, y is missing, x has a restriction, y doesn't, x has to be there, y is free to be what it wants to be, you get a vertical line. Similarly, if y equals a number, now y is stuck. You have to go down five spaces, but x can move along freely, so you can go horizontally. Okay, so x equals only, there's no y, you get a vertical line at the number on the x-axis through that point. If y equals a number, y has to be 4. Okay, so y equals 4, y has to be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 0, 4. There's 1, 4. There's 2, 4. There's 3, 4. There's 4, 4. There's 5, 4. Every one of those points is something, comma, 4. That has to happen because that's what the equation tells me. But this is anything we want it to be, right? So we get a nice horizontal line. Get this nice horizontal line, y equals 4. The most common mistake, I see people see y equals 4, they put a dot at, at 0, 4. They don't graph a line, they just graph a dot. Okay? If you see graph and there's an equation, they want a line. x and y both together create slanted lines. x equals creates a vertical line. y equals creates a horizontal line. Okay? And again, all three of these is all about recognition. If you see graph, Look at the equation you have to graph to establish what it's going to look like before you graph it so that you know your end result is what it should be.